Questions for Wayne? Jordan Hall, you're on with Wayne, go ahead. Hey Wayne, congratulations. Uh, you always had a pretty unique bond with Philadelphia. Did, what really went behind that and why do you think you clicked so quickly with the city? Um, You know what, Philadelphia has always had a special place in my heart. It's been, you know, unbelievable to me. And um, it's Philly's a blue collar town and I think that's kind of what I brought in my game. So I think that's kind of, you know, what what made myself uh you know endeared to the fans and um you know i loved every second of it so it was it was amazing you know my time in philly you have a follow-up jordan oh no thanks i am okay all right questions for wayne adam kimmelman you're on with wayne go ahead hey wayne congratulations on a fantastic career thank you um as much as people remember you thank on you the impact you made with the Snyder hockey program. Are you going to stay up to date with that? How is your relationship with that program now? And what has it meant to you over the years? You know, I think that was one of the, the biggest things of, you know, why I wanted to retire flyer. Um, you know, it was, was my relationship with the community and the fans. And obviously I'm still an honorary board member on, on the flyers or on the, uh, the Snyder foundation. So um, for me, it's something that was extremely special um, you know, I'd like to get back to the city more, obviously, now that I'm not playing and participate in some more of those functions. Um, but yeah, for me, it was always something I remember when I was younger, my mom already always said to me, you know, if you ever make it to the NHL, you got to give back to the community. And I started, um, you know, with my hometown in Scarborough, and then that just naturally led into Philadelphia. Um, like I said, you know, the people of Philadelphia, you know, they accepted me as one of their own. And, you know, for me to have been there for eight years, I, I felt it was only right for me to give back to the community and do what I, I, I whatever I could possibly do. Follow up, Adam. Yeah, actually one more Wayne. Um, everyone remembers the, I guess, near the end of your time in Philadelphia, the outdoor game when they gave, honored you in the locker room after the game. But was there a moment that stands out to you just about your time in Philadelphia and what it meant to you? Yeah. You know what? I think that that moment right there kind of, you know, encapsulated it all. Um, I remember getting that helmet and speaking with Fork and Drew and the whole, the rest of the team and, you know, having tears coming out of my eyes. I didn't really want to be traded ever from Philadelphia. It was just the nature of the business. But, um, you know, I, I think what I think I remember correctly, what I said is, you know, keep our dream alive, keep fighting for uh playoffs. I remember we were in a, in a tight playoff battle there. And, um, you know, it, it was very disheartening to get traded, but, you know, at the same time, it's a business and I know how things go. Um, so I think that's why it's important for me to, um, you know, sign this one day contract and, you know, come back and retire as a flyer. Adam, do you have another follow-up? Sure. Um, what did it mean to you to end your career, be able to play at home in Toronto? Like you said, you're a Scarborough guy, um, just to be able to put on the Maple Leafs jersey at the end of your career. Yeah, it was extremely special for me. Um, you know, at that point in in my life, you know, I had, you know, I was married. I still obviously am married and have, you know, three kids now. But, um, you know, for me, I think it was important to, you know, set my roots back up where I was from and, you know, allow my children and my wife, you know, to, you know, to have a home base and, you know, to be stable. Um, and obviously, you know, growing up in Canada and Scarborough, watching Hockey Night in Canada and seeing the Leafs play every Saturday night, um, that was something that was special. Jordan Hall, you're on with Wayne. Go ahead. Hey, Wayne. Uh, I remember toward the end of your career, we, we talked about how your body kind of just went through the wars here in Philadelphia. You went through a lot physically. Um, did that kind of kind of symbolize how much the city and, and the organization meant to you? Yeah, um, I gave everything I had to Philadelphia, and I think it it kind of you know cut my career short, but I wouldn't change it you know one bit. Um, every ounce, every tear, every every you know every every piece of sweat, all the blood, all the teeth that I have that you guys or I don't have, I should say. Um, you know, it's it was just something that I was, you know, willing to, you know, do whatever I could possibly do to to try and, and win. And obviously that didn't happen in, in Philly. But, um, you know, I always, you know, meant everything, every single thing that I did. And it, it was just important for me to, um, you know, I got so much love from the fans there. It was just important to me that I did give it my all. 
Wayne Fish, you're on with Wayne. Go ahead. Hey, Wayne, congratulations. Uh, I just wanted to say that you were a very accountable player, especially after a tough loss, you would come out and, and be pretty honest about everything. How important is that in today's game that players uh, own up to both the good times and the bad times? Yeah, like you said, it's accountability, right? Um, and I, you know, a leader of, you know, those teams that I played on that I owed everybody, you know, transparency. Um, you know, it's just kind of the way I am. I say things like I, like I see my, my heart on my sleeve and it's, it's hard for so. Um, yeah, I, I, I've always operated like that, and things haven't changed much. Do you have follow up, Wayne? All right, Adam Kimmelman, you're on with Wayne. Go ahead. Yeah, Wayne, you mentioned the the missing teeth and and some of the other injuries you had. But as we're sitting here, how difficult was it for you to make this decision to decide to to take off the skates once and for all? Um, it was pretty tough, but I, I think, you know, my career had run its course, um, being, you know, having a lot of the injuries that I had slowed me down quite a bit. And I think the way that I played the game, um, you know, I always had to be on my toes. I always had to be going, um, you know, I realized, you know, the last couple of years there that I just didn't have, you know, what I used to have. And it was extremely frustrating. And at the same time, um, you know, I started a family, I have a young family, I have a four-year-old who turns five in a month. Um, another daughter who just turned two and I have a four month old son. So, um, for me, it was important to, like I said, set my roots and, um, you know, be, be here for my family. Um, if I was still at the top of my game, I'd still be playing obviously. And I, and I think that, you know, retirement could wait, but, um, the way I was going, I, I just felt it was, you know, time for me to be with my family and, you know, enjoy that, that life. Okay. We have time for uh, one or two more Wayne fish. You're on with Wayne. Go ahead. Yeah, Wayne, I, I, just looking about the uh, future, what what your plans are. I mean, you talked a little bit about some the Snyder Foundation and so forth, but uh, any plans to be stay in the game, either as maybe a coach or a scout? Um, I definitely want to play hockey since I was six years old. And, you know, that's really all I know. So um, I'd like to stay in the game. You know, I definitely like to stick around and you know, I'll do something. And one last question, Jordan Hall. You're on with Wayne. Go ahead. Wayne, I remember when you came back with New Jersey, you said you expected to be booed. You kind of wanted to be booed because that's Philadelphia. Are you looking forward to hearing some cheers on April 13th? Yeah, you know, it's funny because the amount of cheers I got, I, you know, I, it was kind of was mind blowing when I was there, but yeah, it's, you know, it was nice to be booed by the Philly faithful coming in on, uh, on the road team, especially as a double. <laughs> People probably didn't like that too much, but um, honest, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to coming back on April 13th and, um, you know, just enjoying the the love that I always get from that from Philadelphia. Um, it's going to be a special day. I get to bring my family with it. My kids know absolutely nothing of me being a flyer. I show them my hockey cards, and you know, my daughters just think that I was a Leaf my whole career. So, um, it's going to be special for me to actually, you know, show them where, you know, where I'm a product of. Um, so I'm very excited for that. All right, we have time for one more. Brandon Summerman, you're on with Wayne. Go ahead. Hey, Wayne, when you came here, you were obviously, you know, in that younger group of the Flyers. What you've known from this team now, what if you, I don't know if you kept up with it, do you kind of see the same formation forming there of, you know, a young nucleus getting ready to take that next step? Yeah, and honestly, I, I think they've been. Wayne, I think we lost you there. Could you repeat your answer? All right, everyone, hang on while we try and get Wayne back. <laughs> 